All right, everyone, welcome back to the deep dive. It's great to be back. So today we are diving, and I mean really plunging in to the uh, the whole world of confidentiality. Yes. But specifically when it comes to team coaching. Of course. Which I got to say just adds this whole other layer of complexity, wouldn't you oh, say? Oh, absolutely. It's a whole different ball game when you've got a whole team dynamic at play. Right. Because it's not just one on one. Your secrets are safe with me. It's like, whoa, how do we make sure everyone feels safe? Everyone's on the same page. Exactly. And that's where, you know, ethical challenges and case studies and team coaching. That's our guidebook today. Yes, it is. Really digging into all the nuances here. And I think one of the things that jumped out at me right away was that idea of setting those boundaries from the get go. Oh, crucial. Can't emphasize that enough. And not just assuming because it's a workplace or because, you know, everyone's supposedly professional, that they automatically know what flies and what doesn't when it comes to sharing within a group. Exactly. And I think it's important to, you know, before you even dive into any of the content of the coaching, to really be explicit about what can be shared. Okay. So almost like a ground rule setting session. Exactly. Love it. This is, you know, what we talk about. This is, uh, this is how we're going to handle it. This is what happens if something, you know, slips out. So... Thinking about consequences as well. Always have to be thinking a few steps ahead. That makes a lot of sense. And it actually reminds me, the source material, they had this really interesting case study. It was this team, and they were working on this new business strategy, super hush-hush. And one of the team members, they were in the coaching session, and they just kind of let it slip. Oh, boy. And they didn't mean anything bad by it. They just thought, oh, we're here. We're in the safe container. I can talk about anything. Yeah, and that's where it gets really tricky because you've got this balance between creating a space where people feel safe to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. but also making it crystal clear that there are still boundaries in place. And that's why that initial conversation about what's confidential and what's not, that's not just a formality. It's mm -hmm. really setting the stage for the entire coaching relationship. Right. It's foundational to the whole thing. And, you know, speaking of foundational, the source material also talks about building trust as being absolutely key. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Vulnerability, trust, they're like two sides of the same coin. But it's easy to say, oh, build trust, right? Like, how do you actually do that? Especially in a team setting where, as we said, you've got all these different dynamics, maybe some pre-existing relationships, maybe some baggage. Right. And that's where the coach's role is so crucial. It's about more than just saying what's said here stays here. It's about really cultivating that environment of safety and respect. So it's almost like embodying that trust yourself. Exactly. Being that role model. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. And that can involve things like, you know, using secure communication channels. Which, especially in today's world, with everyone on their devices, it's such a simple thing, but it really does speak volumes. It shows you're taking it seriously. Right. It's not just an afterthought. It's like, we're actively protecting your privacy here. And it's about, you know, if something sensitive does come up, knowing how to handle that information with care maybe checking in with the team about how they'd feel comfortable proceeding. Oh, I like that, bringing that awareness to the group. Now, you mentioned handling sensitive information, and I do remember there was another case study in the source material that really stuck with me. And it was about a coach who had to like really think on their feet because a conversation started to veer into gossip territory. Oh yeah, that's a tough one. And it wasn't like malicious gossip, but it was just getting to that point where it was like, uh-oh. This is crossing a line. We're getting into territory that really isn't appropriate. And that's where the coach's skills as a facilitator, mm -hmm. but also as an ethical guide, really come in. They have to be so aware, constantly reading the room. Absolutely. And be ready to intervene if needed, even if it means, you know, pausing the session, having a quick sidebar. Because ultimately, they're the guardian of that safe space. And that actually brings up a really important point. It's not just about being a good person, right? There are actual legal and ethical guidelines that coaches need to be aware of. Absolutely. Professional codes of conduct, sometimes even legal statutes, depending on the specific field you're in. And I imagine those can get pretty specific about things like confidentiality. Oh, for sure. For example, the International Coaching Federation, the ICF, they have a very clear code of ethics. And one of the core tenets is confidentiality. Coaches are bound to protect any and all client information. Unless, of course, they have explicit permission to share it. And when they say all information, they mean everything, right? Not just the deep, dark secrets, but even like notes from a session. Wow. Okay. So it's a lot more stringent than some people might realize. 
This has been a real eye-opener for me, this deep dive, and I hope for our listeners as well, because it's so easy to kind of take confidentiality for granted, but it's really an active process, isn't it? It absolutely is. It's something you have to be mindful of every step of the way. Yeah. The very first session to the final goodbye. And it makes you wonder, in today's world, where, let's face it, information travels at the speed of light, how do we balance this need for confidentiality with the potential benefits of shared learning? Ooh, that's a great question. Right. It's something to ponder. It really is. And I think that's something for everyone listening to think about. If you were in the coach's seat, what's one tangible thing you could take away from this conversation, from this deep dive, and implement today to strengthen confidentiality within your own team? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for another deep dive.